Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Absolutely loving this series and your guys' sort of like interactions and feedback on how we should do it. But the year is 104. We have 360 citizens. Now, while there's a dragon attack about to happen, one of the things that has been happening is King Halsbeck over here has been invading us. His ships generally take this route, traveling along here, and then they like to land right around here. So, I've got my eye on some properties that I want to flesh out and build fortifications to better be able to defend against both the Vikings and our AI rival empires. Now, all this came about because of your guys' advice to build a canal. We built one here, and you can see already that merchant ships are, being, are able to travel much quicker. I built a super canal up here in a fortress where we can build archers and barracks where honestly, oh god, this is the first big dragon. We need to really, really revamp my iron industry, which is kind of tough because this island only has the one iron node right here that's pretty central. I really want to see a dragon just melt a ship. And I want to see like sea dragons and krakens and whales. Oh, I want to make kingdom. See, look. This is what we got to deal with. And now, actually, it's starting to get a little bit more dangerous because they've got catapults and they're landing two ships at the same time. So, I think it's clear that what we need to do is build a fort here since it's definitely an area where enemy ships pathfinding finds themselves. And then one over here as well. And I protect this pretty key inlet. Maybe a little fort or something over here as well. This is how we defend our kingdom. <laughs> with castles. It's it's pretty simple. Yeah, they are constantly sending invasions this way. And now the Vikings are invading, of course. As they do. As they do. And of course they're landing right where my people are working. Big yikes. Chop the tree downs before they get here. Oh, they, they went north past the cemetery and they're walking towards that fort? Interesting. I, I wouldn't have expected them to do that. Are they gonna... What are they gonna do? Oh, they're gonna creep around. Okay, I think it's clear we need a tower here. Man, moats, aka water, is very effective. We need to keep that in mind when we're designing our little perimeter forts here. Oh my god, look at this. Where did they come from? Ooh, we desperately need to rebuild this, repair it. All right, Queen Widemeyer has a message. I heard of your new bathhouse. It's normal to rarely take baths. It actually isn't. Ha 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 ha! There we go. Now we're get making her mad. Good. I'm still not doing it. I like I like my spell. <laughs> See, she doesn't like it. It's funny. Oh, it's funny. Messing with AIs. And then we're gonna dig moats around these perimeter forts. That way they're gonna be a little bit harder to siege. Yeah, ships love coming through here. I wish I could put a toll up. Oh, and look who it is. The other guys. They're like, oh wait, this is bad. Ah! Oh! <laughs> There we go, sunk another ship. Yeah, you, you go to war with me, you're gonna have to invade me. I don't have to invade you. Now, all forts are going to need a well to help put out fires. This one, unfortunately, doesn't look like it's got much room for a well. I guess we'll have to get rid of one of the gatehouses. Because we'll need to put it in there. <laughs> I wonder how many resources he's having to spend to continually attack. Nope, not doing it. I need you to invade me too, so I can just destroy any and all invaders. While only attempting to trade with one. <laughs> Alright, so we have the general framework here of our easternmost outpost. I want to complete this one first. This is like Fort Wilderness. Okay, what's going on? Happiness is low. Which is weird. I guess plague- Oh, do we need a hospital? I think we got one right here. Yeah. All right, now we need to build the drawbridges. We're in need of some resources. Nope. Big fat no. Look at that. Look at how cool this little fort is. I love it. How tall can you build wooden towers? It's a maximum of three. If I build a moat here, it'll actually turn it into a giant canal. So I gotta be careful. How much are they buying from me? You know, I... I, I my trade revenue is low. Firefighters, masonry's, merchants, tax. There needs to be more information on the economy of what's actually happening. All right, so we're almost done with the drawbridges here. This one's got two. It's a, <laughs> a cute little interesting fort, I think. 
And then after that one's done, and our new houses are done, bringing us in more people, which we'll just make a little festival, then we should... Yes! It is completed and we do have a tower. The radius is decent. It doesn't cover the whole canal, though. I guess it's more of like an inlet, isn't it? Look at all these people running stone. Yeah, because when I, I just sold 48 to the merchant, and my trade value is 48. So I, I don't think the AI is really buying much. Viking invasions, 26 ships. Oh man, this fort's not done in time, unfortunately. Although, it appears they're landing down here now. I made it open, but I don't know if people are gonna get there. Look, and the drawbridge goes up for the ships. The tower's defeating some of these Vikings. They're getting over here now, they're trying to cross the moat, and they're dead. Okay, that was two of the ships. I'm expecting more ships to invade us. Now, quick little tip. Yeah, okay, they're attacking in the north. A fort up there would also be good. Basically, forts on the perimeter, man. That's that's my goal. I just like forts better than armies. Oh my god, this is this is a pretty significant attack. <laughs> then they march down here, should be fine. Few more towers up here and it's it's pretty good. We need a mason. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Oh look, I can see when they're sending out their invasion fleets. Is that ship sunk? So now they're going over here. Now I definitely gotta build Fort Wilderness. Oh man, they go a very brutal long way. A fort here. The drawbridge is almost done. We sunk one ship before it arrived. I would say that's pretty impressive. I think we're gonna need a mason up here. Yeah, use the canal, use the gate. It's awesome. That's so great. <laughs> you gotta slow down because there's a certain order to go through the canal and uh, Qu Queen Wittemeyer's uh, merchant ship is slowing them down. If we could add flaming arrows, maybe that would be pretty good anti-shipping. Oh god, big dragon. Oh man, and this attack is actually... I think we're repairing it as fast as they're attacking it. We might need an extra ballista or two. Oh jeez, they... Okay, this is getting serious. What's the health on this? Health is fine. We must have masons on the other side repairing it as it's getting attacked. Yeah! Defeat them. You already said you're closing trade with me, you nerd. Get out of here. Before I stick you with some arrows. Are those all their dead people? Or are those my dead people? Are those my dead people? Have they been just slaughtering my masons? Okay. Project... Defend the channel is in full effect. Oh my god. Baby dragon burning. I was just building those. We have people without houses. Kill the baby dragon, yeah! We got a lot of meat. I like how we get a lot of meat. Before, when you'd kill a dragon, you, do, you wouldn't get anything. I feel like there should be some scientific bonuses provided. All right, once this tower is done, we'll definitely be able to soften them up if they come from that way. Special upgrades, beautiful tapestries. Uh, sure. I'll buy that. I don't entirely know what they's good for, but I'm gonna do it. Ha! Ah, we sunk a ship in the- Oh, that would have blocked the Suez! Oh, man. Now, would wood on wood look good aesthetically? Or does stone just look better? <laughs> we damaged them enough, I think, to where, like, they'll retreat a lot of times. A terrible plague! Yikes! Are we able to deal with it? And they've got a gift for me. Fantastic. That is a decent amount of iron and weapons, but they, they never send you tools, do they? I guess it's good to have one AI being your friend. Oh, now they're sailing back this way. Oh my god, we are out of stone. We are... Fresh out of stone. It would be nice from the beginning if you could set off diplomacy of like, you know what, I, I just want them- I want to be at war with them. It is working. It could work a little bit better though. Some of these stray arrows are gonna kill some of these fish. <laughs> Maybe it's because the masons are using some of the, my stone to repair all the things that need to be repaired? Or is no one working the quarries? Oh, <gasps> guys. Stone runs out of resources? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 
Uh, don't panic, but maybe panic a little bit. Wood is the only sustainable resource. It's the only renewable one. Uh, we are out of stone. We don't need to work these quarries anymore. Oh my god, that's... That's kind of shocking. I'm, I'm glad I realized this now. Look at the Vikings going through. Wow, there's only one more node of stone up here, and it is right up here. And we've got to get this thing working fast. Well, I'm glad I've been building a lot of wooden forts. Oh my god, are... They're invading over here? Oh, jeez. This is brutal. They're gonna break through. I think. If they had a troll, they could have broken through. But in my experience, the trolls only come if you fully enclose yourself, right? So in theory, since this is not a gate, they can land here and walk through. And that is allowing me to basically not be attacked by trolls. So now I'm gonna have to harvest stone way up over here. Probably gonna have to fortify that. That is uh, kinda scary in a way. So wooden forts are definitely in vogue right now. Save your stone for special projects, man. Iron and stone nodes aren't infinite. How did I miss that? This whole area could be cleared out and converted into something else, but we need a lot of tools, and how much iron do we have left? Whenever the merchant comes around, I'm gonna need to buy as much stone as possible. I guess that's good to know now. Give me all of your stone. And honestly, we could use a lot of tools, too. 332, yikes. All right, we're gonna not buy tools, but we will buy the stone, and honestly, I think my merchant needs to stop selling stone because it's it's the most precious of resources right now all right we're getting that quarry they're gonna have to march the long way for now i actually i need i need enough tools to clear that out okay bye let's buy 15 and i need to do a block removal here there we go and probably killing these you know what do we have the weapons? We should have the weapons to get an archer squad. So the level of difficulty is starting to show itself here. Most notably with resources being finite. Man, they are just constantly attacking. They need more fish. I guess fish is sustainable. Anything you can grow or cut- actually I don't think fish would be sustainable. I feel like you could probably overfish. See, this is where I want like a trebuchet, Greek fire, something to attack this ship. Archers don't attack the ships only if there's infantry units on them. What is happening over here? Attend- Ogres, my lord! Hehe, <laughs> I love when they use this canal. Alright, this one's mine. What am I actually dropping off? Not a dang thing. Churches and libraries are too crowded. There's a lot of, like, quality of life stuff we need to do, but what have we done this episode? We've built a little wooden outpost over here. A stone castle here to guard our, our primary canal. This one's Suez, and I think this one's Panama, right? We built this stone fortress to guard the east against invasions from King Jerk here, Halsbeck. But... And we realized we can run out of stone. So the next thing we need to do is probably fortify this and do a lot of quality of life upgrades to our city. So thank you for watching another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.